Yo, 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 welcome back to the Knicks Cave. I'm Jan and Nick Fan, your host, and let's get right into it. But before we do, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment. You want to know when the next video is going to drop, hit the notification bell. All right, let's get into this video real quick. It's not going to be a long one. Uh, what can I say? It has been a very emotional two days. All right, today and tonight, game six, New York Knicks can put it away. It will be sweet. If we ended in their home, but it would have been that much sweeter to end it in the garden. Fans deserve that much. All right, so let's get into this video. I know you've been watched several videos already and what went wrong, but I'm going to give you my version and what I felt went wrong. And yeah, you seen the thumbnail. And I think management should really think about that. If we get, if we don't win this series, Tom Tibble need to be fired. I don't care what anybody else say. I don't care about y'all talking about he got us here. In my mind, my opinion, it's the players. I think, I'm not going to say any old Joe Smo coach, but I think any other coach, we would still be in this position. I think we would be in a better position because if you look at the rotation right now, we're playing a seven-man rotation. And I know some people can say because Bon Donovic went out, um, Julius Randle was hurt. So this is where the coach got to start making some serious decisions because you, Philadelphia played the eight-man rotation. And I know you would say, one would say that's just one person more, but that's one person more that's less tied than the other team. You know what I'm saying? That's one person more with a little more burst of energy. And if you looked at what Nurse did, he was giving Maxie them spells. And when Maxie came back, he was that one person with that burst of energy, as we've seen at the end of the game. All right, so let's talk about that some more. Um, Mitchell Robinson, we'll get it to him in a second. You look at the game, look at the quarters. One would say it was headed that way, but New York Knicks held their own. That second quarter was our best quarter. Fourth quarter, 28 seconds, man. This is when you coach, like, a lot of people talking about the foul. What well, we should get in the foul. We're going to talk about that in a second. All right, that foul, that foul. The Knicks should have fouled, excuse me. <clears throat> but like I said, I thought we had this game. I know, and if, like I said, if you watch the game, if you watch replays, so you know that we didn't win the game. But if you was watching the game, you thought the New York Knicks was taking this game. It was there, but like I said, um, if I haven't said it, I just had that feeling. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not trying to say anything because it's after the fact. But I did have that feeling because down the stretch, you seen the way Tibbs is playing and B. And this is why I think he should be fired. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real with you. Mitchell Robinson came out and he took he took the blame for it. You know what I'm saying? And it's not Mitchell Robinson's fault. Mitchell Robinson was doing what Mitchell Robinson do. He's an aggressive player, he go for the blocks. But at the same time, he shouldn't have been in the game. This is one reason why. I feel Tom Thibodeau should be fired, especially if we lose this series. He got to go. Management, if the New York Knicks lose this series, Tom Thibodeau got to be fired. I know some of you would disagree. I know some of you just might agree. But I have my reasons, man. And I know I made a video sometime back, maybe a month or two, I said I was going to let off on Tom Thibodeau. But we got to be real. I think any other coach, I think Doc Rivers, will have us in a better position. But the reason I feel that way is because the players the New York Knicks have on his team, I, I don't care. I think with any other coach, we would still be in the playoffs. And I think we would have a better record. And I think our defense, don't get me wrong, New York Knicks, I, I know where we rank that. But we still give up too many shots in crucial moments because of this defense. And what I mean by that. Let's talk about Joe and B, all right? <clears throat> he had nine turnovers. He had 19 points that, that last night. Seven for 11 from the field. Uh, free throws. Um, what he had? Four for six. He was missing his free throws. But he had no mobility. So, early on in the game, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, I did not mind Mitchell Robinson being in the game. That's to put his weight on Mitchell Robinson, excuse me, on Joe and B, help slow him down. But in the fourth quarter, 
I felt Tom Thibodeau should have went back to what won us game three. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Won us game four. I felt Tom Thibodeau should have went back to what won us, won us game four. And what I mean by that, I mean the defense of Achua and Ananobi. The mobility of Achua to be there when um, Joe and B made his move, but also the mobility to be there when Maxi. Now, <clears throat> You look at this game, you see what Nurse started doing down the line. Joe and B was a decoy. He was a decoy. A decoy. But yet, Tibbs kept doubling him, kept trapping him. And you have to, you have to give Nurse credit because he exploited this defense. This is my opinion about the defense. You know what I'm saying? What I don't understand. And this is what I mean by Tibbs, you know what I'm saying, need to be fired. And that Miami series, it was a blueprint, a blueprint right there. Okay, you got your defense you that you love, Tom Tibbs. Stick with it to a certain point. But you see how Miami slowed down Joe and B and Maxie in that series to a certain extent. And that was with the 2-3 zone. Philadelphia had no answer for that. What got Philadelphia over Miami was um, Butler getting hurt and B not being as wore down as he is right now. He still had a little spunk coming back, you know, from off that injury. You know what I'm saying? Right now, the physical play is taking his wear and tear on him. Right now, Joe and B is not that much of a factor as Maxie is. I mean, he's going to get his points, but I felt a chewer should have been in there. I think Achua wouldn't have made that foul right there, that foul right there. I don't think he would have fouled Maxi on that play. Even though Maxi traveled, I don't think he would have fouled him on that play. And I think what would it like, okay, let's, let's look at this play. You see how let's, let's look at that play right there. You see how Joe and B front set the pick, Maxi go around. Achua would have been quick enough to cut that off. You see, you see where Mitchell Robinson, how far he had to come back, but the second that it took Mitchell Robinson to get there, a two would have had a half a second more quicker. So not only would Max, he probably would have missed the shot, he probably would have thought about another shot. And then you got to think about what everybody's talking about, the foul. Why not foul? Put him on the line. We get the ball back. You know what I'm saying? Now they got to foul us. We got to go back and forth. We both was in penalties. Both teams was in penalties. So... I don't understand Tibbs thinking. And this is why I'm talking about not being able to adjust on the fly with Tibbs. I, I said it last year. If you watched me last year, I was very critical of Tom Thibodeau. And you're not hearing that too much. You know what I'm saying? You hear some people say he should have fouled, but we're not hearing how Tom Thibodeau should have played the players, how we should have played Maxi and Joe and B down the stretch. Joe and B was nothing but a decoy. And when he made his move, even when Hartstein was there, it was still um, containment. You know what I'm saying? With containment. Tibbs got to go away from the trapping. Even if we make it out this series, I fear Indiana's going to exploit that. Because Indiana shooters, in my opinion, are better. Well, Indiana as a team are better than Philadelphia 76ers. And I think if Tibbs don't make adjustments now, that we are going to be in a state, we're going to be in some real trouble. This, We're going to be in some real trouble. Like, honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm being real with you. I'm very fearful. I'm very fearful about the Knicks not getting out of this series. Um, do the team have the heart to come back? I know we've seen it, the resilience all season. But, man, that was a heartbreaking loss. The... Would the confidence be there? That's, that's my biggest concern, the confidence. Now, like I said, it would be feel sweet to go in Philadelphia and get this win, knock them off on their home court. Um, but we should have won game five. It was supposed to be over in game five. And the only reason it's not over in game, we're not resting our players, getting ready for game two, I mean, round two, is because of bad coaching down the line. Y'all might not agree with me. Some of y'all might do. Let me know in the comments. And with that being said, I want everybody to stay safe, stay healthy. God bless and peace.